I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data analytics and data engineering. Today, we're gonna to return to our playlist for Python and our Pandas installation, and we're gonna take a look at how to do some summary statistics using Pandas. And I'd like to thank one of my viewers for making this request. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave it in the comment section below. Let's get to it. Okay, so for this week's video, I chose to use our uh, access data database that we created in some previous videos, and I've imported some data uh, from the COVID-19 reporting uh, from the uh, ECDC, the European Center for Disease uh, Prevention and Control. And uh, this is a uh, Excel sheet that I uh, imported to access pretty much directly. Just changed a couple of data types on the way in. And so you can see here, uh, it has all this data for all the different countries for the cases and deaths uh, that are attributed to COVID-19. You can do the same for your project. Uh, see the link in the description on how to get this data set. And as you can see, there's case and uh, death data for uh, all the different countries uh, according to the ECDC. So what I'll do here is from the idle shell, I've started a new Python file and I'm going to import PyODBC uh, which is the ODBC um, a library that allows us to connect to all kinds of different databases. And I'll import the pandas uh, library as that's uh, uh, what we're going to use for doing our summary statistics. So one of the first things I'll do is I'll do a print opening DB there. That's going to give a little bit of feedback to the user uh, so that they sort of know what's happening. It's very helpful if you have very large data sets um, and there's pauses in the, in the execution then you can see what's going on. And on the next line there, I'm going to make my connection string uh, and I'm going to paste in the connection string uh, for my Microsoft Access database. After that, I can create a new uh, variable and call it connection and uh, I'll use pyo.connect for that using our connection string. And then I'll leave another uh, print statement just to show the user that we're going to select some data now from the database. Our select statement uh, we'll put into a variable called SQL and we'll call it select star from COVID since that's the name of the table in the access database that I just showed you. Uh, then we'll make a data variable and that'll be our data frame and we'll say pd.read uh, SQL and we'll say SQL and then put our connection string as the other argument and that's going to give us some data back from the Microsoft Access database. Following that I can add, add some closing comments so that the user knows what's happening and I'll make sure to add the connection.close at the end so that it releases the Microsoft Access uh, database and the lock on the table for the read. And what I'll do here is I'll just do a print data at this point in our program so that we can see what's happening and I'll hit F5 on my keyboard to see what happens. So as you can see it opens, uh, it selects and then it closes the database and then it displays uh, 28,000 rows uh, when we do a print like that, it sort of condenses the information, but you can see that we've got our data frame all ready to go there. And then once we've got our data frame there, we can uh, go ahead and move on and we'll, we'll create a, a query total, which uh, we'll use on our data frame and we'll say uh, that we'll take the cases and the deaths and in order to do a top level summary, we'll just say dot sum on the end of that. And that'll give us a little data, data frame that's gonna um, give us some information uh, about cases and deaths um, that we can use for, uh, to load some other variables that we'll use later in our script here. So the first vari variable will be total cases. 
And uh, in order to do that, we're going to grab the first uh, column, uh, the first column in the first entry, which is the cases, and then we'll grab total deaths uh, in another variable, and we'll take that from our query total uh, as the first, uh, the next entry uh, that comes up there. And after that, uh, we can go ahead and uh, print out our information that we got. Uh, let's just take a look at uh, the uh, query total just to show what we loaded into those two uh, variables and, I'll, and I'll, I'll hit an F5 there and we can see what's happening. I'll take out the, uh, the first print command so that we can actually keep up with what we're doing here. So as you can see the, uh, the cases has been summed up as a total from the entire sheet as well as the deaths. So that's exactly what we wanted to see and we'll go ahead and clean this up. I'll comment out the other print um, statement so that we can continue on and we can work on getting our main query which is going to be the big one that's going to do a group by and summarize the, the statistics for all of the different countries uh, so that we can take a look at those as a sum and then add some percentages to those afterwards. So what we'll do is we'll say query equals uh, data, that's our, our main data return that we had there. And we're going to take the uh, countries and territories field, the cases field, and the deaths field, and then we're going to go dot group by, and we'll say countries and territories. And that's going to summarize our data according to that field. And then on the very end here, we'll say uh, dot sum. And that's going to summarize our, our data for us and give us the sum of all uh, cases and deaths according to each country. And so that'll still be quite a big list, but we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at that just to make sure that that's something that we were going to see, we want to see there. So in order to do that, I'll do another print statement just to see uh, that it's exactly what we want to see and I'll say print query, then I'll hit F5 and it will start our idle shell again here and as you can see it's giving us the uh, head and tail uh, and you can see that it seems to have summed them up nicely and uh, the dot 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 in the middle to represent all the rest of the data so we had 200 rows uh, with two columns and uh, we've got our cases and deaths all summed up nicely there so now comes the fun part, uh, which is creating some percentage statistics, which is exactly uh, one of the goals of this video, is to, to also add some uh, percentages to our output. So what we'll do is we'll take our, our uh, query and we're going to add some fields to it, uh, our data frame there, uh, by specifying uh, case per underscore percent for our uh, percentage of cases and that is going to equal the uh, cases field divided by the total cases that we calculated over the whole data set and then times 100 and that'll give us a nice little percentage there. Um, I'll go back and add a round on there so that uh, with a comma one on the end to get just one decimal place otherwise we'll have a great big decimal after that we don't really want to, to view. It's not very nice for viewing. And then I'll go ahead and also create our new column for death underscore percentage. And I'll do the same thing. I'll add the round statement to this one as well. And in just in the same way as we did before, I'll say our, our field is equal to the deaths uh, field in our query divided by total deaths uh, times 100. And we'll round that to one decimal place. And that's going to give us a nice column which is uh, great for viewing. And from there I'll go ahead and say once again, I'll print our query and as you can see it's got uh, the head and tail once again. And uh, now these countries are uh, on the head and tail. They're not re really part of the bigger picture. So what if we wanted to see just the top 10? Uh, the biggest guys um, 
what are the top 10 countries, say, by the number of cases. And so in order to do that, what we could do is we'll take our, our query, we'll make a new uh, data frame, we'll say query sorted is equal to the uh, data frame, we'll sort underscore values, we'll say by cases, and ascending is false. And that's going to give us the query, um, but, you know, sorted in in top to bottom from largest to smallest. So that's kind of the first step in getting our top 10. And if we took a, a print of that, then it's going to change our output quite a bit um, through the sorting. And in this case, uh, when we uh, run it using F5, we can see the United States, Brazil, India, Russia, and Peru are all all at the top, and then the uh, the smallest numbers are at the bottom, mostly zeros. Uh, but if we wanted to show just the top 10, then we could uh, change that and just make another uh, query data frame, and we'll call it uh, query uh, top 10 and that one is going to uh, give us just the top the top 10 of the list and we'll say our query sorted we'll take the head the top 10 of those and that is going to give us uh, a nice list of the top 10 um, the top 10 countries in our analysis and if i go ahead and print that one i'll print the query top 10 and that's going to give us our, our list here. And as you can see, we've got a nice list sorted from the number of cases from the top to bottom and also the case percentage in the world of those countries. And as you can see, the United States uh, is 25% of all cases in the world and they also are 24% of the cases uh, of deaths in the world as of uh, July 8th. I think this data was from July 8th. And you can see uh, in a descending way, uh, you can see all the different countries below that. Well, you might be asking, well, what if I wanted to sort by a different column and get the top 10? And we can certainly do that as well. So say we wanted to sort by the case percentage as opposed to um, just the number of cases. And we could do that by just going up to our sorted query, uh, change the field that we're ascending uh, or uh, sorting by, and then we can go ahead and save that and hit F5. And that's going to rerun it. And this time it's going to do descending by case percentage as opposed to the actual number of cases. Alternatively, we could go back and we could uh, change it to the death percentage uh, so that we saw um, our calculations by the number of deaths descending by percentage and as you can see uh, we've got that here as well um, with the countries changing just slightly on each of the calculations and that's how you do summary statistics in Python Pandas. I hope you enjoyed today's video on how to do simple summary statistics using Python Pandas and if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell when you see the bell so that you'll be notified of any new material that I put up on the channel. If you have any questions or comments about what you saw today, please leave it in the comment section below and I'll catch you next time.